Guys, I don't know if I'm going to get another big film up for you in time. I've been working flat out, working with Mike and Andy on Mike's fence, putting those concrete ones in, the gravel balls of concrete, digging out the holes. Nightmare. So I'm just going to pop this film up. It's just a very short one. It shows Stefan, who's a lure specialist, give you a few tips on how to fish jerkbait for pike. Okay, hello and welcome. My name is Stefan from CWC in Sweden uh, and Strike Pro, and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to jerk baiting and also some, some details around it. Okay, first uh, you can use different leaders. When I'm jerk baiting, uh, I use a single strand titanium. 60 pounder because it's very very light and you can get lots of fish on it you see it's never tangled poof and it's straight and i also use a very very light stainless steel swivel who don't affect the lure so it's a very light and strong leader for my jerk bait fishing if if you go to to rubber or, or crankbait or whatever, it's very, very popular to use floor carbon. This is a, a 0 0.19 millimeters floor carbon. That's my, my, my popular diameter. And um, of course you can jerk bait with, with the floor carbon, but then the movement of the jerk bait goes more slowly. So, because it, it pushes some water, but it's okay also. When it comes to pike fishing, I think the most effective and the fun part method is jerk baiting. And uh, in our water, a glider is the best jerk bait lure, what I think. And uh, I'm holding a, a very popular lure here called Bust Jerk, and it's a glider. Jerk baiting, it's actually you, like a fisherman. Who must pull the rod and and uh, and uh, do so so the movement of the jerk bait triggers the fish. So it's actually you, like a fisherman, who catch the fish with your movements of your rod. For that, you need a really stiff rod, fast and stiff rod, around six to seven foot. Many people, when they start jerk baiting, they, they do wrong because they, they do too big movements with the rod like that. It's better to, to have a tight line to the lure and just pull it like this because you use a very, very strong and not flexible line for this kind of fishing, a braided line, about 50 pound line. So you only need to do a small movement and the lure gonna gonna go out there this uh, jerk bait buster jerk it's it's very easy glider so look at my rod now I'm just turning it small turns like that and now you see the lure coming here side to side it's very effective Okay, when you jerk bait fishing, it's it's uh, you you need to pull the lure so it looks like a wounded fish, so the pike can't resist to take it. That means just back and forth, back and forth is not good. Look at my uh, my movements now. You need to fish it so it looks like a wounded fish, who is very easy for the big pike to take. A couple of turns, a pause, let the lure hang there and then start again and maybe just take it in a little bit so it looks crazy. That's the most effective way to, to jerk bait fishing. A couple of turns, back and forth, stop. Normally the fish who follow the lures take the lure when you just stop it and when you start it again you have the BAM! It's like that. The, uh, the, uh, the Buster Jerk family, uh, the jerk baits, comes in different sizes and also shallow runners or sinking versions. 
So if you're fishing an edge or something, you use uh, a slow sink. Uh, if you want, you can put uh, a power dot so it sinks faster. But this is this is a uh, normal, very very good. It sinks. Uh, you fish it on on uh, one to one and a half meter. That's the slow sink version. And uh, if the fish has got up a little bit uh, shallower, uh, this is a shallow runner. You f you fish it, you jerk bait it, and when you stop, it's 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 uh, going up to the surface very slowly. So you can fish this on half meter to one meter. And if you want to try fish with jerk bait and you don't have a really stiff rod or something, you can you can use the, the smaller version. This is a 35 gram. Everybody can use it. Uh, every equipment you have, spinning reels or whatever, it's perfect for this small one. It's bust jerk too. Also, you have bigger ones. This is a really good glider. It glides really wide and can trigger the fish like crazy. You have this in suspending and shallow versions. So, just go out and take them. Yeah, about the colors. Uh, <coughs> uh, if it's really muddy in the water, I, I, I like a little bit more brighter color. Uh, if it's really clear water, I use, you know, brown, dark green. It's, it's that kind of color. That's, that's my way to fish. But of course, you must try yourself. But it works pretty well to, to start with that. Uh, here I have a, a small cod. We call it hot cod. It's a quite dark color. And we use it in, in, in the brackish water when it's, yeah, very, very clear water there. It's a good color for clear water. And, and also, when you do your leaders, you, you, should, uh, you, should, you should buy a, a really good snap. This is Staylock snap, and I think it's, it's the best on the market because it stays safe. It never go up when you're fishing. Beef this Staylock. If you look here, you must pull it in like this and then on, on side, and then it hook itself. It's never go up. It's the best snap on the market. You should have a 50 pound test braided line, not uh, any thinner one, because you have stiff rod, big lures, and when you're stuck in the bottom, you, you just pull it away and you can start fishing again. So, uh, uh, 50 pound test, it's about 0 0.36 millimeter. It's a strong one for, for and it's perfect for York Bait fishing. So here we have a big shad, actually my favorite, and this paddle tail here, it do to all the work. You just retrieve it back, you can do some small pauses, you, you just take it slowly and it comes. This is a, with a shallow stinger, so you can fish it even on the 50 centimeters or so, up to 2 meters or something like that. And it works really effective. Now when it's really cold in the water, you can do the lot lot long long stops and so on and they will buy it yeah we had a really really good day today and it's start to the to be the end of the day here and and we, we this is the final spot and uh, Mika t took us to spawning bay here and first stop a double strike like this Right away. One, one on Instantly. rubber and one on jerk bait. Great. Great. <laughs> we put them back. Yeah, we put them back. <laughs> we have still some time. <laughs>